Okay, so uh, following from the last video, I just wanna give you a couple more tools um, that you can use when debugging scripts when you're getting your scripts to work uh, in the terminal. Um, if you join me now, let's go into the terminal straight away. Um, when I'm running a script, I can separate out the successes and the failures of that script. And we can do this with redirection. Now, we looked at redirection in the beginner bash video, I think it was, and we looked at something like, um, you know, we, we looked at the sort command and I could actually redirect uh, something into uh, the sort command, like a file. So in this case, I could redirect in like that, and that sorted my script. But I could also redirect uh, the output of a script into another script or into another file. So let's say, um, clear that out with a control L, and let's do, I'm gonna run my script, Right, so, and I'm actually going to um, output this into uh, output.txt say. So obviously I've still got the sleep from the last um, the last video. Okay, so that's now uh, finished. Now if I cast out the output, you can see now that I've got the output of what we'd expect to be on the command line in this script. I'm just gonna move back to uh, the VS Code a second. I'm just gonna take out these sleeps because they're, they're not needed uh, for this um, part of the training so let's take those out let's save this so it runs a bit faster let's go back to the uh, terminal so we can actually output the script um, using this syntax here but on our script we might actually have errors and we might have successes and we might want to keep them separate and the reason is the output obviously we don't want to pollute with errors but also we would like a nice concise output of our errors should we have to debug anything and come back and sort them so there's a syntax that we can use to separate these out, which we're going to look at now in this, this next example. So the way we do this, let me just go back to the VS Code and create uh, an error. So if we say um, this does not exist, so does not exist, this would cause um, an error. So going back now to uh, the terminal, clear the screen, uh, run our script, and you can see we've got an error. Um, what we could now do to separate these errors out, if we just go Control L to run the screen, and I'll just put uh, myself uh, back on the editor a second, just make sure I put another um, error down here, and we'll try and cat out uh, a file uh, that does not exist as well. Like so, uh, let's go back to the terminal. So now, in terms of uh, capturing this output, um, we've got two options here. So we can now redirect all of the successes into a file, or we could redirect all of the errors into a file and leave the successes on the terminal, um, or, or vice versa. So let's have a look how that looks. So if I just do um, a redirector symbol here, I'm going to use the one before my redirector, and this is gonna redirect all of the successes that come off of this script. So if I just do success, like that, and I can do log. And then if I come over here and do another redirect, so I'm now gonna redirect uh, again like this, but this time I'm gonna put a two in front of it. Now this is gonna redirect all the errors that come off this script. So if I do that now, I'm gonna do error.log, and that's not how you spell error, like so. I've now got nothing on the terminal at all. So I put my camera back on, so I've got nothing on the terminal at all. Uh, but if I cat out now success log, you can see all the successes that I'd expect to come off the script. And if I cat out the error log, you can see now I've trapped those two errors that come off the script. And this gives me um, a much better um, output to focus on when there's an error. So that's the first part of this, and I hope that um, helps you with your debugging. The second thing is, um, in the previous um, episodes, I think we've looked at the, uh, the set X option to doing uh, debugging. Well, there's actually two places where we can add uh, this option if we wanted to. Um, one of them being actually on the command line. So if we were to do uh, bash with a dash X here, any script that we run, so this could be any script, you know, if you've got a pen test tool that you, you frequently run or whatever, um, we can do the bash with the X and then we can run our script like this. And actually what we've now done without modifying our script is we've actually added a stack trace and 
what we can now do is we can do the same thing again. So we could do the redirection into uh, success and we could redirect the errors into error. But at the same time, we've still got our stack trace. Now, if you look inside here, we've got our success. And if you look inside our errors, we've got our stack trace and we've got our errors. So this now actually helps us do a little bit more debugging, um, especially when we get to more complex scripts. Um, I'm going to end that video here because I think that's a nice little succinct part before we move on to the next video. Again, hope you're enjoying these videos. If you're not, for whatever reason, let me know what you don't like about them. Um, things are only going to sort of get more advanced from here. Um, so I, I'm aware that if there's something that's fundamentally lacking, I need to be told about it in the comments and I'll double back and I'll give you some more uh, explanation of some of these topics if I'm going too fast for you guys. Um, but hopefully you like these. Um, this is all a new experience for me as well, so please bear with me. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I promise you these will get more polished and better. Um, but yeah, hope you're enjoying it. Thumbs up. See you in the next video.